subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasse here and in this video i am going to show you how you can backup all the data of your iphone and how you can restore it to another iphone or you can just save it for some cases if your phone gets lost or anything so that you have a backup of your phone so let's start the video In this video, I am going to show you how you can make a complete backup of all the documents and files on your iPhone. This includes your photos, videos, audio, voice memos, uh, music is not included uh, and also you can backup your WhatsApp chat as well. So in this video, I am going to backup all the data from my old iPhone that is the iPhone 6s and I am going to transfer or you can say restore it to my new iPhone that is the iPhone 7 plus. So in this way, I'm going to show you how you can back up all the data from your old iPhone and you can restore it to a new one or you can just go with the old one as well. If you, for some instance, you want to restore, maybe the phone got, um, I don't know, corrupted the software or anything like this. But anyways, so we're going to be using iTunes on our PC. I'm going to use my Windows PC. If you have a Mac, the process is somehow same. Anyways, let's move towards our PC. So first of all, you're going to open iTunes on your computer. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed. So here you can see. So now I'm going to connect my iPhone. So first of all, I'm going to connect my iPhone to my PC in which I want to back up all the data. Here is the iPhone 6s. So it has been detected. Now let's move to iTunes. So once connected, you can see the iPhone logo. You're going to press on it and here you can see automatically backup iCloud you're going to go down where it says this computer you're going to press on it a full backup of your iPhone will be stored on the computer and this includes audio videos photos apps documents and data and other the other thing is actually your whatsapp chat data encrypt local backup so if you want to have your Apple password health and other information to be stored like uh, you use so then you may uh, i recommend you use the password encrypted one so once you have done that the process will automatically start so you can see that it is starting to backup the data of my iphone so you can see the latest backup your iphone has never been backed up to this computer in which this means that i have never backed up so i don't have any kind of backup data on this computer so once this backs up the option will or the text will change in this area so it's showing the time remaining so let's fast forward the video so you can see that on almost five seconds are remaining for the backup to be completed so yeah let's just wait for five seconds if it were five seconds being honest so the backup is complete you can see on the lower right side it says latest backup today at 9 43 pm so it has successfully backed up the iphone's data on this computer so now you can see you have an option backup now and the other option is restore backup so you can restore this backup to another iphone or to the same iphone for some reason if you want to erase all the data and to re install the all the data so here on the search i'm going to type percentage app data percentage so i'm going to show you where all your backup of your iphone is saved on the computer here it says apple computers mobile sync backup and if i go to properties you can see it will show you the size of the backup that it actually copied from my iphone to this pc if i open you will have some folder random name and if you open this uh, these folders there will be some files that you cannot read because these are in the format of iTunes that iTunes saved so that no one can use them. But you can rest assured because all of your data is secured on your computer after seeing the size and location of this folder. So now again I am going to open iTunes and now I am going to connect the new phone that is the iPhone 7 plus which I want the data or the backup of my previous iPhone to this one. So now here I have the iPhone 7 plus now I'm going to again connect it to my PC using the lightning cable and now I'm going to restore all the data of the iPhone 6s to the iPhone 7 plus. 
so if i go down on the lower right side you can see here a option is saying restore backup you're going to click on it to restore all the data um the previous phone which in which i had the backup was the iphone 6s so that's why it's showing that name and now and now because i encrypted my last backup so i'm going to enter the password of that encrypted data so now it's going to decrypt it and copy it to the new iphone so it will also copy your whatsapp chat as well because it has backed up them in the previous phone so it will be present in the new phone so here you can see the time remaining so i'm going to fast forward the video so the restore is almost about to complete we have less than a minute so here a box appears up the settings of for your iphone have been restored please leave your iphone connected it will appear in the itunes windows after it restarts and the message will be dismissed in two three one second uh, three to one seconds anyways the iphone will restart and will configure itself to the backup so your iphone will restart and you will have the apple logo so you don't have to do anything and you have to make sure that your iphone is connected to your pc and to itunes as well so now you can see the phone logo on the upper side i'm going to click on it here you can see iphone 7 plus so if i go to other 28.49 gb have been used so this is the space that my backup took so it means i have successfully copied all the pictures videos photos and the whatsapp chat to my new iphone i have checked it as well so all the settings all the backup have been successfully made on my iphone so you don't have to worry about anything itunes does it very well because both are made by apple so you don't have to worry about them so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider doing so i will be making this kind of content in the future as well other than that thank you for watching this video and see you guys in the next one